there's 31 days in January, so I decided to come up with 31 compassionate messages. I was having a hard time choosing as to whether I was going to call these affirmations, reassurances, pick-me-ups, encouragements, or compassionate messages. And of those five choices, the two that I really liked were pick-me-ups and compassionate messages. So I did decide to go with compassionate messages. And I made these for other people just as much as I made them for myself. So I hope that these help somebody, even if it's only one person five years from now, someone that's passing through and just happens upon these, if they can help just one person, give one person the encouragement they need, the upliftment that they need, then they will have been worth it. I feel that this is my calling to help other people in this way, so that's what my mission is. So I'm going to get started. Of course, I'm not going to be able to get to all 31 of them all at one time. But the first compassionate message, number one, is God made you on purpose for a purpose. And he made you the way you are so you can fulfill that purpose. Therefore, it is okay for you to be the way you are. I think that's self-explanatory. Number two, it is necessary for you to be you because God made you the way you are for a reason. If you are controlled, whether today or by past hauntings, you are not the best version of you. And this hits home for me because I know for the majority of my life, I was controlled, whether I was being controlled in the moment or whether it was after the fact, and I was still being haunted by my past and I was still being the way that I was being controlled in the past. And then I finally woke up and realized that I am not being true to myself. I am not being me. I am being the person somebody else wanted me to be. So, like I said, that one really hit home for me. Number three, there is not, never has been, and never will be another you. So you need to be you to the fullest because we will never have you again. We will never have another you. And this really hits home when someone dies. We know that there's never going to be another one of them. And so, yes, people need to be themselves. Number four, you are not a broken down loser and you don't have to think that you are. You are a winner indeed. Now, I know that God didn't make any mistakes. When he made all of us, he meant for all of us to be a winner. He did not intend for any of us to be losers. But some people, a lot of people, don't have any self-esteem, no self-confidence, and they think that they're a loser, but they're not. But I totally understand, because I've been there. But... Yes, you are a winner indeed, whether you know it or not, or whether you believe it or not. Number five, get to know you. B, 
be your best friend and your best counselor and also your best encourager. But definitely get to know you because you don't want to miss out on you. You are fabulous. You are so good. You may not know it, but you are. God made you really good. So you need to get to know yourself. Get to know that awesome person, that wonderful person that God made. And just start being you. And that's all for today because this is getting long and I will continue on with number six in the next video. Talk to you later.